Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Monday, January 25th, 2021. So today wraps up the week of prayer for Christian unity, and hopefully um, you saw some of the devotions that were posted over the weekend as I continued to post um, a devotion for each of the days um, for this week because I thought it was uh, that important. So just a brief recap. The week of prayer for Christian unity happens about this time of year, um, every year and has for over 50 years. It happens between the, uh, the festival days on the Roman Catholic calendar between Saints Peter and Paul. Um, and it's uh, done for a reason because uh, historically from Scripture, we think that maybe Saints Peter and Paul um, didn't uh, get along, didn't uh, come together um, in um, their mission and purpose uh, for the sake of the gospel. But that's not true. Uh, Saints Peter and Paul um, did come together and work together for the sake of the gospel um, and for the sake of uh, Christ's mission um, of sharing the good news on this um, earth. And so um, the week of prayer for Christian unity is a, is a way of lifting up the call of all churches to work together um, for the sake of the gospel, for understanding that as we uh, read in our uh, lesson from uh, Sunday, from Revelation, that salvation comes from our God. Uh, it doesn't come from, as uh, the writer of Revelation says, um, from any tribe or peoples or language or nation, um, that salvation comes from our God and is given to us through Jesus Christ in the watchers of the baptism. And so it is a gift that is given to us to share with those around us so that all may come to, uh, to know Christ and to know the good news and the gospel and the power of the gospel um, for salvation. And so I want to finish up um, this week by reading from Colossians, uh, the first chapter, beginning at the fir or, uh, 15th verse. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. So these uh, verses have always struck me, um, and I've used this as a children's message a couple times, uh, when Jesus says that all things hold together in him. Um, I've imagined Jesus is the glue, and I've passed out glue sticks to the kids uh, with this passage on a sticker on it, uh, reminding that Christ is the one that holds all things uh, together. Um, and, and too often uh, in the life of the church and in the community, we try to uh, hold things together ourselves. Um, and we try to take the parts and the pieces and put it together in the way that we want it. Um, and, and the writer of Colossians reminds us that Christ is the one that holds things together. He's the first fruits of everything. In him, all things hold together. He is first. And so we always need to remember that. And so as we wrap up this week of prayer for Christian unity, I pray that we work for unity um, in our own congregation, in the community, in the community of churches, both locally um, and globally and nationally, that we are a witness to the world around us, that our unity is in Christ and that it is when we are unified that we are strongest and we are more powerful and we become a powerful witness to the world around us. Um, that unity can happen and that unity can happen because we put Christ first. Um, and so I pray that this week is, is something that we think about, not just for these days, um, but for every day. And it's something that we can work towards and, and be about as God's people. Let us pray. Lord, as we wrap up this week of prayer for Christian unity, it is your prayer every day for us all the time. As you prayed in John 17, that we be one as you and the Father and the Spirit are one. Give your Spirit to us, that it may work in us and among us, that the unity that you desire for us might be realized, might be realized in our congregation, in our community, in our, 
in our nation and in our state, that we might be a sign, a witness, an example to the world around us, that when we put you first and when we follow you and do your will, the things you desire for us, unity and peace and, and joy and hope can be ours through it is in you these things exist and it is you who shares them with us freely. So help us to free those, to share those things with others freely. It is in your holy and precious name we pray all these things in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.